Hey you guys, so I'm going to be doing another wash and go using one of my favorite products. However, lines I should, I should say. But it's quote unquote a new styling gel. This is the new extreme wet line gel with the blue top. Now it looks like it's clear, but it has like a light, almost like there's blue crystals in it. Um, so I purchased this from my local Walmart for two dollars and some change like uh, literally almost three bucks that's rounded up to three dollars i thought i was getting the green top and i grabbed it right away and i'm like okay this looks a little different so yes this is a new formula i'm going to be pairing this along with tgin's twist and define cream i already did the palm test on my hand and i found that these two pair well together now one thing that i do want to mention that i should have mentioned in the echo style gel um video why well, I tested all the different combinations is that even if you find that they don't mix well together, oil will actually help a lot because a lot of some of those combinations I know I have used on my hair, not necessarily for a wash and go, but styling together. Um, what well, I literally look for not only if they if I see white, but also if it starts to beat up. That's a definite no, and we ain't gonna name any names, but can too. Um, was one of the ones <laughs> literally turned into yogurt on my hand. So, girl, this is what we're gonna be using today. And my hair, I washed my hair yesterday, she's still kind of damp. I'm going to be misting my hair with this lovely hair mister that I received as a gift from a fellow you from a fellow subscriber, excuse me. And we're gonna be working in small sections. Now, I did use TGIN's buttercream as my leave in conditioner, and I think I should be okay. I should be okay. All right, you guys, so I'm working with my hair in small sections, making sure it is pretty wet. Applying the TGIN Twist and Define Cream. I do apologize for the blurriness there. Um, making sure that I have enough of the styler on before I apply the wet line extreme gel. I do find that this gel makes my hair shinier, if that makes sense. And you'll see that as I am applying the product. So I am doing a mixture of raking and shingling, okay?
right, you guys. So yeah, shingling my hair takes quite a while. It took me an hour and a half to do this outside of the shower. This is what it looks like. Now I'm going to take a blow dryer and lightly blow dry my hair. Now I do do this throughout the day. I would say... I don't have a given number, but around four to five times throughout the day, um, shaking my hair around to loosen up those curls. Ryan Little. <laughs> So this is several hours later on that day. Again, I started the washing at five o'clock that morning and it is about 90% dry. I'm not really feeling what the hair looks like in the front because my hair is a looser curl. Yeah, I'm not feeling it, but we're gonna go ahead and separate the hair a little bit. Um, I'm taking an Afro pick to give myself some volume. I know girl. And we're gonna go ahead and, and try to style this wash and go. <music> Great, great definition, you guys. Compared to the original Wetline Extreme Gel, I do prefer this new and improved formula. I feel like my curls are, are popping, and yes, here I am the next day. And so we're gonna go ahead, I put my hair in these mini pineapples with the goody stretchy bands. We're gonna go ahead and take this down. I'm gonna use the Jane Corder. I'm yapping away because I am recording a chit chat in this footage. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the Jane Carter, that leave-in spray that she has to help um, just add a little moisture to my hair. And we're gonna fluff up and style. Again, this is the second day, the next day, and my hair is completely dry. <music> you guys so I'm just about done styling my hair it doesn't take much at all now I do prefer the um this formula as opposed to the original one my hair feels great the definition is on point and it's shinier I was able to maintain this particular wash and go for three days and honestly I think that this is the best wash and go I have gotten on film there's a running joke I have with you guys that whenever I film my wash and goes they don't you know turn out right but this is okay actually so that's the back this is what the front looks like and yes as I stated I was able to maintain this particular style for another three days so thank y'all so much for watching take care bye